Okay, I just want to talk to you about the auxiliary brake or the engine brake or the Jake brake which is fitted in this Volvo Prime Mover here. Um, now the engine brake, basically it just restricts the engine so it can slow you down. So you don't have to always rely on your foot brake for stopping or slowing down. Uh, not so much stopping, the slowing down is more the point. You, you do you need your foot brake for actually stopping. So the engine brake is more just for slowing the truck down. Um, so it's handy, there's a whole variety of places you could use it. I'll just talk about the operation first of all. Um, so if you come a bit closer, you'll see this stalk here on the side is where it operates. You can, uh, the different settings. Um, now you'll see right at the moment down the bottom left corner next to the little uh, sun and cloud, it'll then go to A. Now A mode is automatic mode. Now what happens is when I put my foot on the brake, uh, the engine brake will kick in as well. If I put it on setting one, two or three, uh, that's a different type of operation and that you get that kicks in the engine brake kicks in when my foot's off the accelerator So when you're driving along uh, You're driving along uh, and you want to slow down you basically come off your accelerator and then the engine brake will kick in So number three of course being the strongest and number one being the lightest uh, So a lot of drivers use that because they're constantly on the accelerator if they're coming up to a corner or a roundabout Whatever it might be they back off the accelerator and the engine brake kicks in and the truck will slow down without you having to put your foot on the brake um, So the, yeah, the, the automatic mode that's connected with your foot brake and then of course you can turn the whole thing off So it's not even on at all um, so there's also an, another setting which is way at the top and that's when you just move it back you can actually hear yeah, in B mode. Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate the auxiliary brake now while the truck's moving. So at the moment it's completely off. So if I want to slow the truck down, I need to use my foot brakes. Um, so I'll just get a bit of speed up going down the hill here and I'll show you the A mode which is the automatic mode. So I've just knocked it back one. So as I've got the speed going, if I put my foot on the brake now, Brake pads are applying and the auxiliary brake is kicking in as well, so it's slowing the engine down. Okay, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to put it to setting number, and I'll just get around the corner and do it first. So I've got number three setting on there, and it's slowing the engine down. I'll just get around this corner and... Actually, that's not a very good corner, I'll go straight ahead. Okay, I'll get some speed going. I'll show you the, how the uh, number three setting works. So I've got my accelerator on right now. I release my accelerator now, the engine kick, the auxiliary brake kicks in and it slows you down. So that's number three setting. I'll just get my accelerator back on and the engine brake goes off there. Now there's another setting which is the B mode, which is above the three. If I put the B mode on, that actually knocks back gears as well as engine brake. So that's using the gears, the transmission to help slow the truck down. So that is B mode. Um, as you can hear, the engine actually knocking down, the, the, the technology there kicking in and knocking down a few gears. Uh, that is if you do want to slow down in a hurry with your foot brake and with the knocking down as gear. So you've got, uh, it's, it's used for a bit more of an abrupt stop. Um, so if you're a smooth driver, you don't really want to be using that. There's no, no great need to be using that one. You can just use either the automatic mode, or you can use one, two, or three setting. Okay, I'll just show you the exhaust brake again. Uh, it's really handy using it when you're going down a hill. So I've got a hill where I'm going to go downhill. So I'll get around the corner, try and get some speed up, and then I'll show you how the engine brake, exhaust brake, auxiliary brake works. Jake brake, whatever you want to call it plenty of nicknames for it. Okay, so here's a good example. I've got a bit of speed going. I'm coming up to a corner and I want to slow down a bit. A little bit of brake and the engine brake kicks in, helps me navigate this corner nice and smoothly. So coming up to a corner, coming up to a roundabout, or coming down a hill is when you want to use that auxiliary brake. Just going a bit more detail with the auxiliary brake on this Volvo. Um, so I've got a very hilly space at the moment, a hilly area, so it's pretty handy. So I've got a nice big hill at the moment coming up. I'm on number two setting with the auxiliary brake. So it's kind of just holding me back at about 60, so I'm not going beyond the speed limit at the moment. So this is where it's coming in handy. If I was to turn that off, the truck would run away and it starts to pick up speed. So it's, it's handy coming down the hills just to hold your speed back. But also with the engine auxiliary brake, I'm not actually physically putting the brakes on and the brake pads applying to the uh, 
to the wheel, so I'm not wearing out any brake pads and brake linings, things like that. Um, so the engine brake is pretty handy, just to take the edge off a little bit. Um, so I've got another big hill here coming up. So I've just come off my accelerator, and the engine brake kicks in there. Now, if it's not strong enough, I'm on number one now. I'm going to kick it up to number two, because it's a bit steeper. Now, there's that extra setting, which is beyond number three. Now, I'll do that. I'll just get up this hill, and then I'll show you that extra setting beyond three, which is to do with the transmission. So I'm going down the hill, and number three, I'm in number three. If I want to slow down a bit more, if I knock it back to B, that's just knocked it back again. So I can physically take a really slow me down abruptly there. Um, so you only, uh, yeah, you don't want to be using that too often, especially amongst traffic and things, because you don't want the people behind you to be having a jam on their brakes. Uh, but that B setting for the auxiliary brake can just knock it back one gear. And in conjunction with number three setting on your uh, auxiliary brake, it can um, slow you down. I'll just demonstrate again. Uh, so I'm number two. I'm going to number three now, the auxiliary brake's kicking in. Now I'm going to go to B, and it just knocked it back a gear to even slow it down even more. And I'll just turn it off now because I've gotten past that hill stage and I want to now go back up the hill. But, but again, the auxiliary brake only works when I come off my accelerator. So when I actually push the accelerator on, it's not engaged. If I'm stationary, the auxiliary, auxiliary brake's not engaged. It's only when the truck's actually moving and your foot's off your accelerator. I'm just gonna turn it off now. Um, I can put the old hill assist on. And a little bit of accelerator, oh, I don't roll backwards. I don't really need the hill assist on now, so I'm just gonna cancel that. Now I'm gonna go up this hill, and I'm gonna get around the corner. And then I'm going to give it a bit of power because this is a nice big steep hill. Uh, when you've got 600 horsepower, it makes it look easy. Yeah, so driving on hills is a bit of a challenge. Um, getting up the hill, you do you need your power. You want to push the truck and get up the hills. Coming down the hill, you want to actually keep that uh, momentum under control. You don't want the hill to take effect and gravity to push your truck too fast. So that's where things like auxiliary brakes come in handy rather than hitting your brakes, hitting 